Hello, Casey crew. I know it has been so long since you guys have heard from me, and I haven't made a video in a while, and it's just because I haven't had any content, guys. I haven't had anything to come up with lately, so I haven't been making any videos. That's why I asked for suggestions, and a lot of people have been asking me when I'm going to make my next video, but I just haven't been sure. But I have some updates that I have for you guys, and I can't wait to share them. So during this video, I'm going to just be chit-chatting with you guys, giving you a life update of what I've been doing these past couple of months since I've been home. It's been nothing short of amazing, and I'm so glad I made the decision to move back to Chicago because just mentally and physically for me, it has been a blessing. So as I'm doing this video, I'm going to be doing my makeup because I'm going to a basketball game. Uh, a little later and I look kind of bland and these days I've been toning down a little bit on the makeup I'll be trying not to put too much foundation on or like do too much makeup because then when I decide to not wear makeup I don't want it to be like a drastic change so I hope you guys enjoy this video um, and I can't wait to share my exciting news okay so first things first um, if you see me looking over here is because I'm looking at my mirror that's right here so that I can see what I'm doing but um I'm gonna start over just basically I lived in Georgia for nine years y'all nine years and I had a lot of great moments I made a lot of great friends and I made a lot of great memories and I will never forget those moments memories and friends that I created or made in Georgia but it got to a point where I felt like I was content or being or not growing and I would find myself a lot being really sad and at home and just wondering what exactly was going to happen with my life and I, I discussed with my parents a lot of times that you know I want to come home I think I want to come home but I was also scared to move back home because I had been so independent for so long that I was scared to come back and just fall right back in the trap of being um, complacent with where I'm at in life. I had to move back with my parents and I wasn't really comfortable with doing that because I had had my pl my own place for God knows how long in Georgia. So I wasn't really comfortable with that. I felt like I wasn't, I wasn't succeeding if I did something like that. So that hindered me a lot in making a decision to come back home. So um, as many of you keep up with my social media, um, I moved back home in March at the end of March I decided that it was finally time for me to make that decision to move back home and um, I immediately wanted to start job searching my dad was like no you need to take a break you know regroup learn yourself and I'm so glad that I did as many of you know um, I have been on social media posting my updates about my weight loss and that journey has been nothing but amazing and I cannot believe the progress that I made over the short amount of time that I've been home. I can't uh, thank myself, my mom and my dad enough for the amazing support that they showed throughout the process. It was very helpful because my mom was also doing it with me. And so I feel like things are a lot harder to do when you're doing it by yourself. When you have to get in there and especially weight loss or trying to change bad habits such as that, it's easier to do it with people. And it really helped me going with her and weighing in each week and seeing that progress really made a difference. I'll add in some pictures here just in case you guys don't keep up with my social media or haven't seen the pictures. I'll show you um, the weight loss progress that I made since I've been home, which I am so happy about. So fast forward, um, I've just been, I haven't been working. I've been on several job interviews. I've had two job offers and I'm just, you know, I was talking to God and you know, I was like, God, you know, this is, I, I don't, I don't really know what the direction is. I know I'll come back home and I don't want to be sitting in the house for too long because I don't want to have to rely on my parents. Please, please just let me find the right job that's for me. So I went on my first job interview, which was a sales um, position and 
Ultimately, a lot of you know that I just simply adore kids and my main goal was to open an after school program, but we all know you have to start somewhere and I don't have any money to be investing in um, starting my own business at the right now. So I have to start somewhere. So I immediately got um, some calls from different job sites, um, interviews and the first interview I went on was so sketchy y'all. I mean, so sketchy. I literally thought that I was gonna get kidnapped. I thought, I thought they were gonna kidnap me. The place was sketch um, when I went in, and I was like, you know, I was ready to settle because I was just not wanting to wanting to feel like I was freeloading off of my parents, which sounds weird, but I didn't want it to seem like I was just being lazy around the house and not really doing anything. So I was like, I have to find a job, and at that point, I was willing to commit to anything which is bad because I knew my happiness was what mattered the most. And that was my whole purpose of moving back to Chicago was to be happy. So knowing that I didn't want to just settle, I, um, when I was accepted or offered the job, I told their employer that I wanted an extra day because I knew I had an interview the next day with another company. Sorry guys, they're working on my house downstairs. So if you hear anything in the background, that's what it is. Um, so yeah. So basically, I went on the next interview and it was a large group of us. And again, it was a sales position and I knew I did not want to get in sales. I'm like, what is going on? At this point, I was feeling defeated. I was feeling like that was the only thing that I might have had experience for. And I knew ultimately that that was not what I wanted to do. I know I didn't want to be in sales. I didn't know exactly what I wanted to be in, but sales was not it. So I went and I went to that and I had promised the guy from the from the first interview that I would call him back after I had the interview to let him know if I accepted the job or not. And something in my heart, y'all, I knew that when I, the fact that I was crying, like, and upset or like just disappointment after I said, okay, I would accept the job meant that that wasn't the job for me. And I was just like, God, I just, I cannot, I'm so frustrated. I don't know what's next. I need an answer. I need an answer now. And so I and I ended up not deciding to go to that job, y'all, because it was five and a half days. I knew that I wanted to spend time with my family and have that opportunity to do that. I didn't want to be at work all the time. And then also just the sales aspect. And then I just didn't feel comfortable with the position either. Um, so that's why I decided not to take that job. But I just, at that point, I was lost and I had no idea what I was going to do next. I was on job boards every single day trying to figure out what I wanted to apply to or what to even look for, knowing that I may not have experience for some of these things that I'm looking to do, but I want somebody to give me a chance so bad because I want to be able to prove myself. So I uh, continue to get calls and calls from different employers um, wanting to interview. Um, I probably went on about five or six interviews. Um, and then there was another marketing and sales position as well. And it was about 50 minutes away from my house, but I just, I don't know. Like I, when I interviewed, I felt like that was a place for me and I was so excited and I was willing to drive the 50 minutes, but there were some cons to that job as well and they outweighed the pros and I decided to wait again. I just knew something inside of me was not feeling right about accepting that position if I did. So I told them that um, I didn't think that that would be the position for me. I knew I did not want that as a career. So I decided to pass up on that offer as well. So now that's about four interviews, two job offers later, and I'm still like, what am I gonna do? I have no idea. So um, some of you may know, some of you may not know, my parents own their own business. And so I was like, you know what? If works comes to worse, I work with my mom and dad. And I have been doing some things with them here and there since I've been home just to help out. Um, but I just didn't know if that was going to be a permanent thing for me. So I was just continuously waiting for the right opportunity to approach me. Okay, so now we get to, um, I've visited a couple of staffing companies. Um, they offered me positions. A lot of them were temporary jobs or things that I thought that I wouldn't, was not what I deserved. 
and I wasn't gonna settle for that. And they wanted me so bad to believe that I didn't have the experience for um, some of the positions that I wanted to get into. And I, I knew that I was capable of doing it. So if they wanted to continuously offer me jobs they knew I wouldn't be interested in, then so be it. But <clears throat> I was not gonna settle. I was not gonna settle. I was praying and just waiting for the right opportunity to approach me, which leads to this. I am so excited to say that a staffing company in the downtown Chicago area helped me get a job. I have a job. I'm so excited. I start on Tuesday and I can't wait. It seems like the right fit for me. It seems like I'm going to have the opportunity to grow and they're paying me what I think I deserve to be paid. And I'm so glad that I waited because had I settled a long time ago and accepted the jobs, I probably would have been at this point, I probably would have quit one of those jobs and I would have been unemployed. And now I'm so thankful because now I have a job. I'm so happy to be back home. I've been on this amazing weight loss journey, which I would like to go more into and just kind of tell you guys what I had to go through for the first um, couple of months. Well, first couple of weeks or first week, it was very difficult, y'all. Um, but I'm so excited to start this job. I had a recruiter who was so helpful, very understanding. He communicated with me efficiently. Like he just was, he was great. And I was really thankful and I'm very thankful that he was so dedicated um, to helping me find employment. So when I went on the job interview, I went on a job interview yesterday morning and so I was so nervous, y'all, because I, I I know that I'm capable of doing things, and I know that I went, and, and I've experienced a lot, but I just, sometimes we all do it, we're our own self I mean, our worst self-critics, and, sorry, we were very judgmental of ourselves. So, um, I was just like, uh, at this point, I felt like my luck was just bad, like, I, whatever. If I don't get the job, I don't get the job. At this point, I don't care. That's kind of the attitude that I had, which is really bad. But, you know, the recruiter called me after the interview. He said, you know, send me an email just to thank them for taking the time out to uh, meet with you. And as I was about to send him an email, he called me back. And he's like, you know what? You don't have to send that email. I was like, oh, great. Another fail. He's like, you got the job. And I was so excited. I was so excited. So, yeah, I started that job on... Um, Tuesday, and I'm gonna be so nervous. I'm so nervous to have to start all over and do this all over again, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. I don't wanna make mistakes, but I know I am because it's a new thing and I'm gonna be learning. I'm gonna be learning, I have to learn from that. But I really just, I'm so appreciative of this opportunity and I don't wanna ruin it. But that was my big news that I really want to share with you all. It's just to let you know kind of where I've been. Um, I hope to have more videos coming up. I do have a prank. That I will be posting soon. I once I get that um, put together, I definitely will be posting that. It's, it's pretty funny. I did post a prank the last time, so if you haven't seen it, or a couple weeks ago, so if you haven't seen it, just scroll on down on my page and go look at that. I prank my mom and made her think that I gave. Um, my sister came home with a hickey after being at a friend's house. It's pretty funny. I got it pretty good. So. And once I come up with some more videos, or you all give me some more ideas, I can make more videos for you guys. But I'm going to touch some more on my weight loss journey, which has been a major part. A lot of you all may not know um, that in college, um, or after college, or in college, I lost a lot of self-confidence um, for, for multiple reasons, or for a specific reason. And um, I just felt like I wasn't worth it. I wasn't worth anything. I didn't have a lot of self-confidence because I felt like I wasn't being treated that way. And so a lot of times I was just, I just, I don't know. I just had a lack of confidence. So especially with being stressed out and not being closer to my family, um, I started gaining weight every year I started gaining weight and you know I would I would realize that and I would try to control it 
But at that point, I was just like, what am I doing this for? Who am I doing this for? When I didn't realize that I am the person that I need to satisfy the most, not anybody else. I had to love myself more than I loved everybody else for, for, for a period of time, just so that I can exude myself and exude my energy and other people in a different way. If I was negative or if I wasn't really feeling that inner love, um, I probably wouldn't exude it to someone else and I needed to work on that. So me and my mom have been talking about um, doing this um, diet for a long time and um, especially when I started talking about coming home. She, had, she has already previously done it, but um, thankfully for this program, when you feel like that you are getting off a track, it's a lifetime program. So if you feel like you, when you are done with it and you've met your weight or your goal weight, you can go back to the program if you fall off and they'll help you get back on track so that you can continue or go, go back and lose the weight that you gain. So I was very, I was very excited to start that because I knew that once I lost all that extra weight, it would be like stress relieved off of my shoulders and I would feel confident again. And a lot of y'all see that on my pictures and my posts because it just feels good to love yourself, y'all. It feels so good to be I don't know, to feel accomplished again. I feel like I have a purpose in life again. And I have enjoyed being around my family. I love that on the 4th of July, we finally got to hang out all together and I didn't have to go back to Georgia after the weekend, after a short weekend, I could actually stay and spend time with my family and didn't feel like it was a limited time where I can only enjoy it. So that was really fun. Um, I just... I don't know y'all I think this was the best decision for me um, and I am so thankful for everybody that has supported me who has sent encouraging words anybody that I've kept up with over the time that I've been home and they've kind of checked in and I've given them life updates over the time like it's been really helpful and it's really helpful to see people see that growth it's been really fun to really you know embrace life and know that life is too short to be stressed out about small things that you can't really control. It's been fun to share my updates with you all. And I enjoy seeing your comments when you see um, different posts or, you know, just being genuinely happy for me and my updates in life has really been motivating. So I can't thank you all enough. I just, you know, I want times like these help you realize that the storm doesn't last forever. And I know that's cliche and a lot of people say that, but you don't realize how blessed you are until you go through the storm. And I wouldn't be able to appreciate half of the things that I've accomplished if they came to me easy. I mean, since the first day or my first year in college when I ruptured my Achilles, nothing has come easy. School was hard. Life was hard. I dealt with my fair share of things and I, I can say that I wouldn't feel so accomplished if it was just given to me easily so I, I just wanted to come in here and I know I'm not done with my makeup I'm, I am going to finish this but I just want to come on here and kind of give you guys an update of where I've been in life and what's been going on because I know a lot of you all have been asking when I'm going to make another video and so this is it and once I put together my other video of my prank i will be sharing that um but i want everybody to stay blessed remember if you if you need me to pray for you trust me i pray for a lot of my friends there's a lot of people that are going through things that i know and i want nothing more but for god to get another strength to get through so if it's something that i can pray for you about then you know shoot me an inbox or if you need some encouraging words because trust me it helps it helps it helped me get through my difficult times just let me know and send me a message and I'll definitely try my best to be an open ear or give you words of advice if I can help. But I just wanted to come on here and let you know without humbleness, without patience, without humility, without just having faith and that and knowing that God is going to bring you to a position that you want to be in when he feels ready, when he thinks that you're mentally ready for that adjustment and and nothing there's nothing you can do about that 
There's nothing you can do about it. No matter how frustrated I was, no matter how defeated I wanted to feel, I had to know and I had to have the faith that God was going to bring the right opportunities to me. So I'm thankful. I'm thankful for the fact that I'm back closer with my family. I'm thankful for the fact that I was able to lose the weight, that dead weight that was just holding me down and holding me back from being who I ultimately am. And I'm also thankful that I can now say I have a job. And, you know, I was just talking on the phone to some friends back in Georgia and they were saying, you know, Kaylin, what can we pray for you about? And I said, well... You know, I don't have a job yet. And look at God. Look how fast he works and look how efficient he is. I would never in my mind doubt anything um, or his capabilities of helping me get through a lot of things because a lot of my struggles, a lot of my times I couldn't do it alone. It was because of him and the people that he placed in my life. So with that being said, I'm so thankful to share my update with you all. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye.